Hello YouTube. I'm making a quick video here just going over a little bit in response to JD's variety channel. Uh, he's mostly I believe a metal detecting and coin roll hunting um, channel but he like our channel has a lot of variety and he found recently a type of rock that really from one angle looked like a fossilized dinosaur egg. And some other people, I believe, rightly commented that it was probably a nodule, flint or something. And I was going to show some of the neat uh, rock formations that we have found. Um, we have a couple of videos of the boys cracking open these from a river formation about an hour and a half from us. And what you'll find in these will either be some fossils or you'll end up... It'll, it'll have crystals like on this one, but just um, like there's cracks on the inside and lining the cracks are these crystals. And there would have been another piece, you know, just butted up against it and there would be crystals lining that side of the crack as well. So it's pretty neat, but not, you know, not amethyst or quartz or anything cool like that. Um, you can see some fossils here on the outside of some of these like that is a like an oyster shell or some other type of shell just a real small thin one that might be a fossil right there so I think what happened on these is there was a living creature that got either tumbled up or just got buried in some mud and as it decomposed and died it the, partly the minerals from it leached out and I think that started the formation of, of this hard uh, nodule or concretion, as I've called these, is concretion. Um, as we were traveling back south from northwest Arkansas, I stopped at a creek. I have that on a video. Um, we were hoping to find something cool. What I did pull out of there were a couple of these concretions. Um, they had a little bit of fool's gold, iron pyrite on them. As you can see, it's kind of rusted since then. And we haven't really busted these open on the inside very much, uh, but the ones that we had kind of broken apart, it, it just had more layers. And a lot of it, here's a bigger piece of one of the concretions. Um, a lot of it is just kind of shale, or I don't know if it's slate. I don't know if it's a relative, you know, geologically speaking, of slate. But, you know, there was a lot of this material that was much more intact when we pulled it out and has since, you know, started to fall apart. Okay, another rock that we picked up from Northwest Arkansas was this one that does have fossils in it, or I forget what it's called, the mold, uh, you know, the, not the fossil itself, but the imprint left by it, like that right there is a crinoid. That right there is some type of a coral or fan coral. There was one of these that had a trilobite uh, fossil. These holes there were probably crinoids. You know, if you can see right there at the bottom, there's a shell or another fossil right there. I'm not sure. It had part part of a uh, like a trilobite. But I don't see it on this one, so maybe it was one of the other ones. Anyway, and then at a road cut, I picked up this piece, and it's got a little bit of crystal right there. It's really hard, and I don't know that the whole thing is, but there are certainly parts of this in here, like right there, that I believe are like a flint or a chert right there, maybe. You know, not the whole thing right here. It's, you know, pretty soft, almost, what, limestone-y or something like that, but it's got some of those hard areas. I wouldn't quite call it a nodule because it's not so specific or rounded. Um, here's one that I found in South Texas, um, kind of reminiscent of a geode, but I don't think it is, uh, but it, it definitely has like the flint, glassy rock in there. Really neat. Um, I'd pick some of these up hoping to put them through a rock cutter and, and do some stuff, but I never got a rock cutter yet, so I'm not sure what I'm going to end up doing with these. But, you know, so that is more like flint itself. 
That may have been something moved or deposited by um, by glacier till uh, because of just the different ones that you would find and, and a lot of the smooth stones that you would find in some areas there in South Texas. And then three more, uh, I gave a couple of these away, but three more that were just some very interesting uh, rock formations. You know, maybe they were formed in underground caverns of some sort that were later uh, buried or filled in. And maybe they were pushed through some type of a, a hole that he eroded, crevice or something. You know, and they were pushed through as, um, you know, like a, a real soft, pliable clay or mud, you know, paste. Okay, so what I was hoping these were when I first found them was, of course, dino poo or coprolite of some sort, you know, a big dino turd. Because if you look at that, like, that definitely looks like, you know, somebody squeezed, you know, some icing through a tube and it just, you know, went, no specific pattern, it just went in a, in a pie or whatever, a cow pie. This one as well, you know, it just looks like it, it got squeezed and splattered there and then I found a couple that were like this that were almost looked like maybe they had been tumbled along and and picked up you know some material there's a bigger one that kind of showed almost like this like that with a little bit of this just a little bit but more rounded and then concave on this side like I say I don't know exactly how and, and all three of these were found in a in close proximity, so you know something was lending toward their formation. Um, either you know if, if there was a big flood event or you know what exactly I don't know. Um, if anybody has any ideas, if any if there's a geological structure or you know something formed that tends to form these, and they know the exact name, I would appreciate it because. I really don't know exactly what they're called or how they're formed, but I don't think that they are dinosaur poo, um, but I don't know. Anyway, so those are a few things that I have found um, over the years, and I just thought I would uh, put it out there for some of the viewers of um, JD Variety Channel's fossil slash bone slash flint slash nodule because it was pretty neat and there's stuff out there and some of it makes you go hmm but not all of it is a dinosaur egg or mastodon teeth or a big t-rex bone fragment but you never know some of it could be my experience with the bone fossilized bone fragments um, they have more color and so if you find something that's fairly gray or yellowish white um, it, it might be more of a natural, you know, clay formation, limestone formation, or, or something like that. But you never know. It doesn't hurt to put it out there. Uh, I appreciate watching his video and, and kind of giving my feedback of what I thought it was. So thanks, guys, for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.